Detach the turntable platform from the base and attach the base to the top of the Genie Mini using the supplied thread adapter. Flip the Genie Mini and attach the turntable platform to the Genie Mini using the thread adapter provided. Screw it hand tight using the tightening wheel. You will notice that the Genie Mini is upside down when using the product turntable. This is so the turntable platform rotates rather than the Genie Mini itself, preventing the shutter cable from getting tangled during use. Included in the box is a circular black and white disc. Place the disc directly on top of the turntable and align the hole in the center of the disc with the green dot on the tightening wheel of the turntable. We have included mounting holes so you can attach products or larger turntable discs directly to the turntable platform. Now plug the shutter extension cable into the Genie Mini's camera port. Attach your syrup link cable to the female end of the extension and plug the other end into your camera. To connect to your Genie Mini, press the advertising button. Now open the Syrup Genie app and navigate to the connection screen. Select your Genie Mini. Enter the turntable section of the Syrup Genie app. Here you will see three adjustable parameters, mode, photos and capture time. By default, mode is set to auto, meaning that once you have started your move, the camera shutter will fire automatically, and the turntable will rotate to the next position to trigger the next photo. This will continue until you have completed a full 360. Manual mode means the shutter will only fire when you press the shutter button on the app. Once triggered, the turntable will continue to the next position. This gives you time to adjust your product or lighting before taking an image and moving to the next position. Photos. Here you select how many photos you would like to take during the 360 degree movement. The app will automatically divide the movement spaces between the amount of photos you choose. Let's select 20 images. Capture time. This is the time the Genie Mini will wait before panning to its next rotation point. When setting your capture time, you need to consider how long your exposure time is. As a rule of thumb, set this slightly longer than your camera's exposure time. Adding one second is usually plenty of time. We'll set one second. In the advanced menu, we have also included HDR. If you have set up bracketed exposures, then match your HDR time to your capture time. Move shoot delay is the time between when the Genie Mini stops moving and the shutter fires and it's set to 200 milliseconds by default. Turntable orientation. This tells the app which way your turntable is orientated so it can display the clockwise and counterclockwise directions correctly. Regular means it's sitting on a tripod or table. Inverted means the turntable is mounted upside down. In the main parameter screen, you can select the direction you want to rotate the table by selecting clockwise or counterclockwise in the center of the wheel. You can preview your movement by hitting the play icon in the bottom left. This will run the movement without triggering the camera. Once you're happy with how the product looks and you've exposed your image, hit record. For shooting video, exit the turntable section of the app and enter the video section. Here you can change the mode to continuous. Adjust the speed you wish to pan and again choose the direction by tapping the clockwise or counterclockwise icon. Press record on your video camera and tap record on the app. For more tutorials, hit the question mark in the app or visit our YouTube channel.